Icon Radio. Hey, it's another week. Wiki nyingine tumekuja base round it kwa na mgeni mrembo sana. Na atatupea story yake. Eh kabla tujenda sana unatupata kwenye mitandao ya kijamii iconradio.co.ke Icon Radio KE on all social media platforms. Ingia pale YouTube, subscribe, alafu tupatie views zako pale kwa comment section. Leo ni mwezi muhimu sana pande ya wanawake na hii mwezi ya Novemba na tunataka kuangazia mambo ya GBV kwa sababu tuko kwenye 15 days of gender based activism. Uh, 16 days of activism e, ni, 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 ni msimu wenye inakuwa inashughulikia mambo ya wanawake na violence against them so ili inakuwa november 25th ina run up to 10th december na ina, ina hiyo human human rights day na ilianza 1991 so kila mwaka wana global women global leadership wana make sure hii event inakuwa ina, ina, ina run ku, kuangazia hiyo maneno ya violence sana sana pande ya wanawake na ni inasupportiwa sana na civil society na UN. Wacha tukaribishe mgeni wetu kwa show, aje introduce kwanza alafu tupige gumzo zaidi kuhusu hii story. Karibu. Asante sana, Chimano. Mm-hmm. Eh, naitwa Juliet Waidera, mm-hmm. but kwa mtaa watu wananijua kama Juju. Mm-hmm. Mimi ni community influencer, mm-hmm. pia environmentalist mm-hmm. na huwa nafanya advocate na advocatia wase wa wako na disability mm-hmm. more to that i am a certified uh, sociologist mm-hmm. yes that's me <laughs> well, sociolo- sociology ndio ndio nini kwa kwa wala wase waelewi kabisa sociology ni the study of human behavior uh-huh. so more to that na work na community mm-hmm. na sana sana watu wa every every other person hapa nje mm-hmm. na work na e. So kwa hivyo naweza tell tabia za mtu from uki meet to hivi eh, first instance italingana na venye ana behave eh uh-huh. eh nita nitaeleza nitaeleza ni, ni nani eh 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 hiyo eh. eh. si nino maana ina take how long to study ama ni kitu gifted tu inatoka ndani yako tu ah uh, nimekuwa na ni, mimi ni experienced sociologist mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. nime nimeenda shule nime learn Mm-hmm. na ni pia ni part of my passion mm-hmm. ya ku study watu mm-hmm. and the more i study people mm-hmm. the more nawasaidia uh-huh. yeah so juju mm-hmm. uh, e 16 days of activism Nam. ni ni about gbv Nam. gbv ni nini haswa kwa wale watu hawaelewi gbv ni harmful acts mm-hmm. ambazo zina direct you to an individual mm-hmm. ama to to different genders mm-hmm. that is male na female, na female. yeah uh-huh. na zinaweza kuwa in form of gender equality mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa in form of uh, abuse of power mm-hmm. ama inaweza kuwa in form of harmful norms mm-hmm. so sio so gbv sio haiangalii j- gender moja tu hapana haiangalii yangi gender moja inaangalia mm-hmm. both mm-hmm. male na female na female Nam. o ju watu wengi wamekuwa wakiassume ni pande ya female, female sana peke yake Nam. So kuna kuna hizo type za za hizo violence. Naam kuna type za violence. Mm-hmm. Na moja ni physical violence. Mm-hmm. Na nyingine ni sexual violence, mm-hmm. kuna psychological violence, mm-hmm. kuna verbal violence mm-hmm. na pia kuna social economic violence. Mm-hmm. Hizo ndio zina zinashikana zote sasa zinakuwa. Eh hizo ndio zinashikana ndio zinakuwa mm-hmm. gender based violence. Gender based violence. Mm-hmm. So verbal kama verbal ni Verbal ni zile ni zile vitu zina, zinafanya msi mwingine mm-hmm. aonekane hawezi yani unamwambia mm-hmm. matamshi zenye zina put down uh-huh. for example body shaming uh-huh. unaweza pata mse ako very comfortable na maybe mwili yake mm-hmm. ama venye tu ana ana ana, ana ka, but mm-hmm. unapata watu wengine kwa sababu maybe wako na privilege ya tabia nini nini uh-huh. wanamuongelelea so hii unapata hata hezi ji present well unapata mm-hmm. self esteem inaenda chini mm-hmm. simply because umemwa abuse mm-hmm. via ku mentally una, una yeah, unacheza naye mentally una psychological yake mm-hmm. na pia unaweza muambia through unajua watu wengi hawapendi kuambiwa mm-hmm. hawapendi kuambiwa kweli mm-hmm. na hiyo kweli inaweza kuwa in a negative way mm-hmm. na history kama ya FGM yeah. FGM pia ni part ya violence ama Yes, FGM ni part of violence mm-hmm. na inaweza kuwa 
between form of physical mm-hmm. na pia sexual mm-hmm. kwa sababu ina violate sexuality ya ya, ya mdem mm-hmm. unapata uki mdem akipitia FGM mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza ana lose ana lose ile sense of kukuwa Kukua, sexual intimate mm-hmm. na mse alafu uh-huh. unapata akikuja ku experience mm-hmm. bath mm-hmm. ama akikuja kupata mtu hii mm-hmm. unapata ana experience pain mm-hmm. ana bleed anaweza ata bleed to death mm-hmm. so FGM sana sana inaweza kuwa a very bad form of gender based violence lakini hiyo story ya FGM Naam. kuna watu juni ni kitu ni kitu tricky sana Naam. kuna communities ni, ni normal kwao Naam. so ni, ni kitu kuna watu wako willing kufanyiwa na kuna watu wanafosiwa ama inakuwa gaji ni si kitu willing ya kufanyiwa mm-hmm. but hii kitu ni EFGM ni uh-huh. kitu watu wanafanyiwa kwa sababu ya cultural uh, practices za ni yao ya community yao uh. yeah, so si si ati ni, ni wanafa, wa, wako willing mm-hmm. yes ni so, kitu wamepata ikifanywa so wanaendelea, wanaendelea. na hizo hizo practices uh. ambazo sasa zime zimepitwa na wakati uh-huh. naam na sasa si ni, ni dangerous kwa watu kama kama wewe kwenda kwa community kama hiyo kujaribu kukata practices zao um, wana respondaje Ninaweza sema ni si si si, si dangerous but mm-hmm. ni hostile. Mm-hmm. Unaweza unaweza uwezi enda tu hivyo kimandazi mandazi. <laughs> Lazima u approach an elder. Uh-huh. So from there mnaanza negotiation. Uh-huh. Ju naweza patiana example kama mm-hmm. place tulienda na manga. Mm-hmm. Wasichana huko wanatairiwa for mm-hmm. for real. Yaani mpaka mm-hmm. mse ana ana bleed to death. Uh-huh. But sasa hii practice iko huko mashindani huko ndani. Mm. So the first person ku approach to mm. approach an elder akatu, uh-huh. akatupeleka huko. Though haikuenda vizuri uh-huh. but tuliweza ku rescue mtoi mmoja uh-huh. kutokana na hiyo FGM. Uh-huh. So kuna hostility kwa grau. Mm. Na ujue bado hizi mambo na language barrier unaweza communicate kitu na kumbe tafsiri ana anasema vingine. So unapata une umevamiwa. Umevamiwa. Naam. Na sio hiyo ni ku risk maisha sana. Yeah, una risk uh-huh. but sasa lazima information ni wafikie uh-huh. lazima ukweli wafikie so tukirudi nyuma kidogo uh, courses za hii GBV vile uh-huh. umekuwa na experience kwa community uh-huh. courses zake ni nini aswa ya kwanza ni abuse of power uh-huh. nyingine ni inequalities uh-huh. nyingine ni powerlessness uh-huh. unapata kuna harmful norms practices hizo uh-huh. na pia kuna kuna attitude mm-hmm. watu wako na attitude different mm-hmm. different na ndio zina course GBV, GBV. na na tuki, tukiangalia vitu kama kama poverty Naam. poverty na play role yote ku cause ku, kuendelesha violence yes ina play mm-hmm. a, a huge role ikikuja kwa GBV mm-hmm. juu unapata ukiwa na poverty unapata Uh, maybe the head of the house ako uh-huh. na lowest self esteem uh-huh. na ndio express yani ile kama unajua the head of the of the family lazima akuwe ni yeye na provide uh, so sai hana kitu ya ku provide mm. but simply because mwanamke ni, ni, ni mtu anafaa kukuwa submissive, submissive. so uh-huh. unapata aki, akisema tuseme chakula mbona haina nyama uh-huh na yeye haku provide and expect it okay wapi so in, in return anapata na abuse physically mm-hmm. ama anaweza abuse sexually mm-hmm. yes so hiyo 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 ni ni one of the key Naam. courses za GBV, za, za GBV. kwa kwa community zetu yes mambo ya poverty Naam. na saa tukiruka ruka mbele kidogo yes. na femicide yeah pande ya madem yes reasons zenye ziko hapo mingi zinakuwa gani Uh, pia hapo tunaweza sema ni powerlessness. Mm. Unaweza pata ni mambo na powerlessness. Mm-hmm. Ju wewe uwezi 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 taka kuambiwa kitu kama mwanaume. Mm-hmm. Yaani msichana siku hizi wanasema wanatumiwa fea. Mm-hmm. Ama unapata mtu wa mliagri uh-huh. na, na kutumia fea ukuje. Mm-hmm. And in return msichana anaona ah mimi sitaku, sita sitakuja nitakula fea. Mm-hmm. So the next thing jamaa atafanya atafanya kitendo yenye anataka ku, kulipiza na in the process mm. unapata analipiza uh, analipiza through killing the the, the 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 female ama the male kwa sababu ukiangalia hata kwa kwa kwa, kwa news mm. kuizi sana hizo cases zimeko on the rise sana watu wana wasichana sana yes na course inaweza kuwa tu ni hiyo peke yake uh, yeah. sana story sana story ama story inaweza kuwa mambo ni, ni fia unapata kuna hii mambo ya sponsorship na mm msiye anakula pesa ya mtu. Mm-hmm. 
aya unapata maybe una unapata maybe sometimes mse, a, 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 yani una infect mse mwingine na disease flani mm-hmm. anakuja kujua baadaye so kukulipiza kisasi mm-hmm. anakuja anaua anaua nini mwenye infect na hiyo disease eh hey, juju mm-hmm. wacha tu hold hiyo thought hapo hivyo nah. twende madukani kidogo tukirudi mm-hmm. tuendelee na hiyo story ya fair na kuinfect na madisease tujue kwa nini inaanzia wapi na tunaweza yeah. stop iwaje right. icon radio Welcome back to Biz. Tulikuwa tumeenda madukani kidogo, tulipe ma bills na tupate maji. Kama vile tunasemanga kama kawaida, unatupata kwenye social media mitandao ya kijamii, iconradio.co.ke, iconradio.ke on all social media platforms. Usisahau kusubscribe pale hivyo YouTube. Tupige story pale kwa comment section utupatie views zako. GBV ndio topic ya leo kwa sababu ni 16 days of activism against gender based violence. Na tuko na Juju hapa hivi kwa studio. Juju, mm. niaje. <laughs> Sasa hii story tunaongelea hapa hivi. Common forms za GBV ni, ni kama gani? Kuna zile zina dominate na mm-hmm. ni physical. Mm-hmm. Abuse na kuna sexual abuse. Uh-huh. Physical abuse eh indo inawaka sana sana kwa mta. Unapata mm-hmm mamanzi wa mama kule nyumbani especially kwa slums mm-hmm. kwa ghetto mm-hmm. wanapigwa vibaya sana yeah. yani kukuwa na black eye kwa slums ni kama ni kama id ni kama mm-hmm. ni kama id yani kupatana na mse akiwa na black eye asubuhi ni kitu normal sana normal sana huko kwa slums watu wa shey accept yani wame accept mm-hmm. na wao wenyewe hata hawaji yani w- ni normal mm-hmm. wanasema ati ndio 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 bwana akupende lazima mm-hmm. kupige of which yeah. ni a very wrong decision mm-hmm. mimi personally ni kona experience mm-hmm. nilikuwa na watching mom akipigwa mm-hmm. yani mse anatoka tu uko tu amelewa akipata hakuna ati ati hakuna nyama kwa kwa nini kwa kwa, kwa, kwa chakula kwa mm-hmm. anachukua hiyo ugali anaitupa hadi kwa kitanda yeah. na sasa hizo Mama ametoka huko and sacrifice maybe ame, ame sacrifice morning yote mm-hmm. amewakia hiyo unga mm-hmm. akuja tupatie alafu msee anakuja na mwaga hiyo unga yaani mm-hmm. anamwaga tu hiyo ugali jua kuna hakuna nyama kwa hakuna nyama mm-hmm. sometimes amekaa hivi mhm huo msee anatoka na huko kwenye anatoka anakuja mm-hmm. anaanza kunyonga mamangu mm-hmm. yani baka ikakuwa ni kama mimi ni bouncer wa mamangu the moment alikuwa anampiga hata mimi nilikuwa na take action mm-hmm. na mpiga oh ilifika mahali pia sasa kwa kuingilia siezi vumilia mm-hmm. tumeka tu hivi unasikia mtu amemza bakofi yani ni normal ni kitu kano ati ni, ni kitu normal kwa mta mm-hmm. lakini si kitu normal and, until tukue hiyo hiyo action mm-hmm usimame useme z iendelee uh, eh na tuko wadogo mm. tu, tulikuwa wadogo mimi na sister yangu una, mm-hmm. unaona vitu zinafanyika kwa sababu je mtaki uh, kupata hiyo aibu mm-hmm. unanyamaza unanyamazia unanyamazia mpaka inafika mahali eh inakuwa ni tension mm-hmm. umse hata anaweza kuja kuwa mada uh, mm? mi hata siko sometimes siko na lala jumi ni kwa najua ah kama mlango tu iko tu wazi umse anaweza kama anaweza fanya kitu yote aku, anytime mm. so tuliishi hivyo na uoga mm. adis kwenye tulisema enough is enough mm. tulitandikana mm. ikabidi mmoja wetu alale alale uh, sel na hivyo ndio tulitokana mm. anzi na huyo mumsi mm. pia pale kwa community unapata mamanzi wanapigwa mm. kuna kesi mingi sana za GBV mm-hmm. unapata manzi anapigwa na nyundo na mm-hmm. mawe zenye wewe ushaona mwenyewe yeah, kama hiyo yeye yeah, zenye nimeona na nikawapeleka pia huku hosi mm-hmm. pia unapata manzi anapigwa anapigwa tu teke kwa tumbo mhm asa hizo kona ball uh. miscarriage sa, anapata miscarriage sa hizo hizo mm-hmm. unapata manzi pia anapigwa visu kwa kwa, kwa kifua mm-hmm. anapigwa visu kwa mgongo na manzi yako na ako ako pregnant mm-hmm. Yaani hizi ni vitu zinafanyika mm-hmm. na zinaenda unreported mm-hmm. kwa sababu wanajua ah mimi hata nikireport usiku bado nitaku nitakutwa na uja jamaa mind you umse anaishi kwa hiyo hao mm-hmm. lazima atakutwa at the end of the day so mm-hmm. kenya anafanya tu ni kuvumili kuvumilia kuvumilia maybe akona watoto watatu watoto wanne wa huyo mjamaa mm-hmm. atafanya nini na hapo ndo anapata riziki kuna kuna, kuna saying fulani nimeisikia mm-hmm. sana kwa mtaa <coughs> ati mademo wa, wa mageto sana upendaga kusema chali yako asipokuchapa mm-hmm. 
akupendi hiyo kitu ni real kwa wenye hawana ile information unjue mm. kwa ghetto most of the of these girls mm. wako ni ma dropouts mm-hmm. mzee aliacha shule class 7 mm-hmm. so ajui ajui nini kenye kinafanyika yani mm. Ana hata ile idea ti oh naweza report mse anaweza mm-hmm. akinifanyia hivi mm-hmm. pia katika tie hiyo yote unapata kuna sexual abuse uh-huh. Mse, unapata wasichana wengi wanakuwa raped mm-hmm. na si, si kitu willing unapata mtu ana, ana raped mtoto msichana mm-hmm. na hivyo ndo anapata ball na hivyo mm-hmm. ndo anapata maybe ndo anakuwa na forced abortion hivyo ndo anapata early pregnancies yani vitu zenye zina zinaoka after hiyo hiyo abuse ni mingi sana compared na venye haingefanyika. So unaniambia hapa hivi saa hii. Mhm. Mse ana, anapiga dem kama umesema anampiga na nyundo ama yeah. anampiga teke. Naam. Ni nini unafikiria na experience yako kwa community? Ni nini nafanya dem anarudi kwa msekao huyo unaniambia unakuta dem ako na watu waine wa mse. Naam. Unapata okay. Madem wengi kwa ghetto hawafanyi mm. kazi. Mhm. Kuko na high rates of unemployment. Mm-hmm. So unapata huu uchali amemweka mm. hapo kwa simply because anapata chakula. Mm. So anaona akitoka hapo nje atakuwa homeless, atakuwa mm. hana food, mm-hmm. ataranda randa ama mm-hmm. end up in prostitution. Mm-hmm. So anaona anavumilia hapo kwa sababu mimi ninapata keja. Napata mm-hmm. place nne nekelea kitu, anayepata mm-hmm. place na kula. Mm-hmm. So hata akinipiga ah at the end of the day ameanipatia ananipatia kitu ya anapata shelter eh anapata kitu ya kushikilia hizo yeah. ndo inakuanga the most hiyo ndo inafanyanga mse abaki hapo kwa hiyo abusive relationship so una, unataka kuniambia ma jamaa mm. uchali hata akifanya hivyo anajua kuna mahali ude mataenda of course anajua hata hata akimpiga mvunje mguu mm. kama hiyo kesi ya msichana alivunjwa mpaka mikono mi, mi mm. but bado akipelekwa hosi amepata first aid amepata kila kitu amepona 3 uh-huh. months down the line uh-huh. ndio huyo ashajirudisha uh-huh. so mjamaa anaona ah kumbe hii ndio anataka mm. so atamvunja tena mm-hmm. na kwanza zaidi kuzidisha ana anafanya hiki tendo intentionally ikwe extreme extreme kabisa kama kama sasa si kumvunja ni kumdunga visu mm. na by, at the end of the day huyo mdema atajirudisha hapo ndio maana wanaenda hapo nakuta dakika ya mwisho ameua mdem. Ehe. Hiyo mm. ndio 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 siri juu. Hata unapata pe, maybe umepeleka huyo mdem hosi umemsaidia. Uh-huh. Ikifika mali ya reporting. Huyo dem ana, ana change story kwanza anasema tu wewe unamnyang'anya bibi bwana yake. <laughs> so unaona eh. inakuwa complicated kuwasaidia eh. pia. Eh. Mm. So yanaona nika wewe unataka ku move na mjamaa wake. Naam. Na si hivyo ni, ni ile tu nataka tu kumsaidia. Sasa juju tukirudi nyuma kidogo. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, experience yako vile umetueleza. Naam. Ili kuaffectaje psychologically uki grow up kama dem na unaona vitu zinafanyika hapo hivyo. Kwangu kwanza nilikuwa sana sana grades zili drop sana nikiwa mm-hmm. shule. Mm-hmm. Na ikanifanya mpaka niende martial arts nikienda campus. Mm-hmm. Nilifanya martial arts 3 years. Mm-hmm ndio ati unajua nilikuwa na, najua ukifanya martial arts uwezi tandikuwa na mwanaume but nikapata ah kumbe martial arts ni more of inakurekebisha yani mm. ni, ni more ni of discipline, ya, discipline. Ina, ina, inaangalia life eh, yako sana ni more of discipline than ku revenge ku fight eh, mm. so inakukam inakukam mm. na ina, inakukam down mm-hmm. unaelewa hizi vitu pia mm. uki, uki ukikuwa more informed mm-hmm. ndio more una understand ah kumbe it's not all about revenge mm-hmm. si ati tit for tat mm-hmm. but unaweza unaweza rekebisha hii mambo ya GBV mm. unapata macha, machali kama sasa wenye wako nyuma yangu mm. unawaelimisha unamwambia si vizuri kupiga mwanamke mm-hmm. muite ka muitane ka, ka meeting kadogo hamkunji kadogo mm. muelewane mm-hmm. juu hii hii tabia ya kupigana mm-hmm. Pia si machali peke yake wana wanapiga wana wanawake kuna wanawake wanapiga machali mm-hmm. unapata mwanamke amekuja bwana amelewa amempiga mdomo mangumi meno zimetoka <laughs> eh yeah. yeah. simply because hakuleta maybe hiyo unga ama hakuleta hiyo mm-hmm. nyama mm-hmm. ama ju, anamuona kwa week mm-hmm. anamchapa mm-hmm. of which haifai kukua hivyo so we 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 iliku, im, im, il, iliku affect hiyo psychologically to hiyo extend unataka ku revenge yeah ku revenge na pia nilikuwa nataka anga sana ya yani mm. hata kukuwa na boyfriend mm. ilikuwa ngumu sana relationship Sijui, yako na machali eh yeah, as in unaniambia nini uh. utafika mahali kwanza nilikuwa nasikia ga machali anasema unajua ninaweza piga dem hapo mm. na hapo tunaishanwa mm. kwa sababu unajua the moment umenianza kunipiga utan, utaniumiza mm. na nikikumbuka vitu zimefanyika huko juu ya GBV 
ni, ni inaweza kuwa tricky sana. Yeah. So relationship yangu ilikuwa kidogo imeaffectiwa but mm-hmm. saidu nimeelewa na rada hizi vitu. Mm-hmm nimekuwa poa mm, the more na the more ume grow kaanza ku understand situation vile inaenda at least sasa unaanza ku accept yes life na na challenges zenye zina come yes eh hey, hiyo story yako ni noma bana mm. <laughs> na sasa inafanyikia tuseme kwa mtaa kuna watu kuna watu kama wewe me, me, me accept me move on mm. na kuna wale bado wamekuwa ma kwa the same same situation yes ninaweza kupatia example ya madam flani to rescue mm-hmm. from the abusive husband mm-hmm. mwenye alikuwa na mdunga imagine jamaa amemdunga amemuma mwili yote amefura mm. tumempeleka easy rescue centers mm. amekuwa rescued amekuwa mm. amepitizo medical whatever zote uh-huh. na saa hii uh-huh. wako pamoja na huyo jamaa na bado paka wamempa, amepata twins eh kutokana na effort yote eh Hey, Hizo experiences zenu kwa mitaa inakaa ni noma sana. Ni extreme. Ni extreme. Yes. Wacha tupige maji kidogo. Naam. Alafu turudi tuendelee na hii conversation. Alright. Tuko na juju leo Bez. Na Bez inashika na hizi story ni sad lakini lazima tutajua vile tutazitatua sisi wenyewe. Icon Radio. Hey, welcome back kwa third segment ya the first hour ya Bez leo. Tuko tuko na story ya GBV. Stories zenye zinatoka kwa mitaa ni sad sana. Na quite unfortunate that hizi vitu zina, zinafanyika na haziripotiwi kabisa na zinaendelea kufanyika na hakuna mtu na take action juju tumeongelea sana violence ya, ya mtaa ya communities zenye zinafanyika kwa nyumba no. tukiangalia pande nyingine kuna kitu kama workplace workplace yeah. violence naam kuna workplace violence ambayo mm. ni inakuja in form of sexual harassment. Yeah. Unapata wanawake mm. hawawezi access mm-hmm. certain positions mm-hmm. kama hawajapitia kitu inaitwa sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. For instance, mdem mde, mde, akitaka maybe promotion. Mm-hmm. Lazima alale na mdosi. Mm-hmm. Ndio, aweze kupata hiyo promotion. promotion. Eh. Mm. Kwa mtaa pia unapata mse alienda kutafuta job. Unapata boss wa hiyo job mm-hmm. anasema ndo pate hii job mm-hmm. lazima unipatie wanazita wana simu 1 na simu 2. Mm-hmm. Simu 2 ni ina huko nyuma. Yeah. So unapata yani ndio nipate hii position lazima nilale na msi. Mbona ni mbona karatasi zangu zisini zisitumike? Mm-hmm. Mbona skills zangu zisitumike? Mm-hmm. Ni, ni lazima ni kuwe sexually harassed ndio nipate hiyo position. Mm-hmm. Pia unapata due to the inaitwa ceiling uh, something ceiling. Uh-huh inakuwa yani kuna blockage wanawake hawezi pata access to certain positions, positions. unless wamepitia a certain humiliation mm. ndio waweze ku access hiyo juu mm. unapata pia kwa payment mm. mtu anapewa ana, ana mtu ana yani mwanamke mm. halipwi the same na mwanaume oh in certain, wana discriminate wapo yeah, in certain uh, positions kuja kwa soka mm. madem hawalipwi the same na venye machaliwa analipwa kwanza kwanza kuna 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 time sometimes last year mm-hmm. national team ya US walikuwa karibu ku, kuweka kuanza strike yes ya madem kwa sababu yes. walikuwa wanadai equal pay na national team exactly ya, ya machali yes na naweza sema walianzisha movement au madem at least hii kuna country kama tatu i think ni tatu no. zinalipa madem equal na machali na machali mm hiyo nyingine kwa kwa workplace unapata kuna social economic abuse mm-hmm ambayo ina inakuwa triggered by feminization of poverty. Mm-hmm. Unapata huku mashambani, twende mm-hmm. mashambani, mm-hmm. bado tu ni workplace. Mm-hmm. Wamama wanafanya kazi kwa farm. Mm-hmm. Unapata wamama ndio wana, wanafanya huko kwa tea plantation, mm-hmm. ndio wanafanya kwa coffee plantation. Mm-hmm. But ikikuja kupewa bonus, ikikuja kupewa hizi payment, hizi payment. Mm-hmm. Unapata mwanaume ndo anaende hizo pesa, mm-hmm. yeye ndo ana gain hizo bonus. Mbona mm-hmm. si mwanamke? Mm-hmm mbona na ikikuta mwanamke ana, anaitisha hizo pesa unapata mwanaume anasema a certain percentage itakuendea but mimi ndio nita nita gain hiyo 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 chapa hiyo chapa mm. of which hiyo ni humi, unapata ni abuse aha uh-huh. mbona asipewe the same same the, the equal rights yenye alikuwa anafanyia huko shambani mm, lazima well. ni mwanamume apokee Apoke. so hizo ndio hizo ndio baadhi ya zile vitu unaona kwa kwa workplace na inaleta hiyo shida yes. ya economy yeah. bado mna suppress wa chini madem mnakuwa hawana chapa yes so tukicheki situation kama hizo mm. unaona effects zake kwa community as a whole za GBV mm. effects zake ni kama gani 
ya kwanza sana sana ina affect watoto uh-huh. unapata kukiwa na GPV kwa familia uh-huh. watoto ndo wanakuwa affected uh-huh. stress inakuwa triggered kwa watoto kwa watu hii unapata hawa watu hii hata hawaezi concentrate class uh-huh. wanafikiria venye mama yao anapigwa kama niko na a certain case ya ya mtoto uh-huh hata haizi shika kikombe yani atulie tuna kikombe asha sasa hao wameshikilia kikombe anaangusha uh-huh. sadly kuna time alipewa mtoto ashike huyo mtoto alipewa mtoto ashike uh-huh. akamwangusha uh-huh. anaulizwa ni nini anasema ninasikia nimesahau kama nimeshika mtoto na kumbe tuki, angalia uko nyuma kumbe ana watch mamake na babake wakipigana na hiyo ina affect hadi so, shule na... performance imeenda chini uh-huh. but sasa tunajaribu kumpatia ile counseling kidogo kidogo uh-huh. at least uh, ajue iki tu ni okay si normal but uh-huh. anafaa tu ku, ku report in any case anataka anaona hizi vitu zinaenda vibaya uh-huh. na ni mtoto wa 8 years 9 years hapo uh-huh. ana experience such torture ya stress uh-huh. unapata kuna pia forced abortions uh-huh. kwa nini jo mtu aliyorepiwa mtu haizi kana hiyo hiyo mimba Iyo mimba so unapata lazima undergo hizo hiyo nini hiyo 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 process ya na hizo abortion wanafanya safe ama ni wanatafuta tu mtu wote mwenye anamwambia anaweza fanya hiyo shughuli. Naweza kuambia kwa mtaa hizi mm-hmm. Islams kuna mm-hmm. tu chemist certain chemists wana perform hizi illegal abortions. Mm-hmm. Na unapata in the process mse anafanywa hook hook abortion ni mnaingizwa hii inaitwa je hanga uh. anaingizwa hanga uh. atolewa hiyo fetus. Uh. Na in the process unapata ame, maybe ame destroy your uterus. Mm in the process ana bleed ana bleed ana, ana dead Kwa so ta wanajua ati ni mm. alikufa na cancer mm. blood cancer na si blood cancer ni alifanywa abortion watu wanaingizwa hanga kwa yani, kwa kwa mwili yake wanaingizwa hanga mm. hanga mm. msee anakorogeo vitu zingine hata sijui zimepita zime uchawi mm. anakunywa hivi anaanza ku bleed na hivyo ndo alienda mm. so hizi vitu zinafanyika so kwa, kwa community mentally unapata watu wa wako ndio maana wana abuse drugs hivyo ku, exactly. kujinambu kabisa wasahau kabisa. zile vitu wamepitia zile vitu wamefanya yes na ndio maana unapata especially kwa madem unapata due to gbv mm-hmm. wamekuwa wame exposed sana so lazima aende atafute mm-hmm. na the, the only way anaweza pata ile inaitwa cheap money of, of, of which see cheap money mm-hmm. anapata through prostitution mm-hmm. akiende hiyo prostitution anapata mimba hiyo mm-hmm. mimba hakutarajia mm-hmm. so what ataendea njia gani si ataendea hiyo mambo na abortion hiyo mambo ya abortion yenye eh. sio sio safe yes sasa wewe ukicheki leo ume, umekuwa kwa hii community mm-hmm. na ume experience hizo vitu zote yes. both personally na zile umeona nje uh-huh. tunaweza preventage GBV kwanza tunaweza educate watu uh-huh. to 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 information pale nje uh-huh. tuambie kuna kitu inaitwa GBV na ina happen na iko iko kila mahali uh-huh. to educate wase juu pale mtaani na feel kuna gap inaitwa information uh-huh. hakuna information uh-huh. hakuna exact information ya uh-huh. GBV uh-huh. unapata pia watu hawako well aware uh-huh. ati at physical abuse inaweza kuwa GBV mm-hmm. sexual abuse inaweza kuwa GBV mm-hmm. mtu akikuguza rasa ama mm-hmm. kuspunk hiyo ni, ni GBV hiyo ni violence hiyo ni violence hiyo mm-hmm. mambo ya payment mm-hmm. yani ati mimi ninaenda kufanyia mwanaume kazi at the end of the day nakuja na mpatie hiyo do no unafaa kujua kuna equal rights kuna 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 rights flani unafuata kuna mm. norms mm. unafuata hii mambo ya GBV mm. hii mambo ya FGM i mean mm. ofai kukeketwa kama msichana mm-hmm. wanafaa kuelimishwa mm-hmm. pia nyingine tunafaa ku create safe space mm-hmm. tumepata victim ndio huyu so tu, aki, the, the, prop, the more tunamuelimisha the more pia tunafaa kumuondoa kum, kwa danger mm-hmm. tumtoe from kwa hiyo environment hiyo environment ya ya vita place nyingine pale sana learn mm-hmm. na pia anaweza gain some skills mm-hmm. na knowledge yenye baadaye itakuja kumsaidia na isaidie pia community. Oh kwa hivyo hiyo ni economically. Yes. Mna, mna, mna uplift pia. Mna uplift. Mm-hmm. Pia mambo na na ku empower wanawake financially. Mm-hmm. Mnawapatia financial literacy mm-hmm. ambapo pali mwanamke si ati lazima ngoje mwanaume ndo apewe. Mm-hmm. Unaona? lazima utoke nje toka nje jichoche j- j- jitume uh-huh. jitume uko nje jua nyanya moja unaweza nunua na kobole ukuje uuze mtaa shilingi kumi. na hiyo pia una gain una gain kitu mm. yes so wakiwa una, una believe watu wakiwa economically empowered watakuwa wako fit kabisa exactly watakuwa na, 
mm-hmm. fit kabisa na watakuwa na position ya kujisupport wao wenyewe. Support cases zitaenda chini. Zitaenda chini. So kama saa hii kwenye watu wanatusikiza. Yes. Uh, kwa mitaa zetu. Yes. Wakitaka ku report. Mm. GBV wanaenda wapi? Kwanza kabisa kama kuna police police station. Mm-hmm. Ninajua kuna information desk ambayo inaitwa gender 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 what? Gender desk ama Yeah, de, gender desk. police station yeah. Yeah unaenda una report hapo mm-hmm. watakusaidia mm-hmm. kama hawezi kakusaidia mm-hmm. unaweza pia piga simu pale healthcare assistant Kenya mm-hmm. ambayo ni 1195 mm-hmm. watakusaidia na hizo hizo tabu yote unapitia tabu zote unapitia uh-huh. pia kuna hii MS MSF MSF mm-hmm. wana offer hizo service, services bure mm-hmm. na especially kama umeripiwa ama umeabusiwa physically mm-hmm. unaweza wa approach wako pale madhare mm-hmm. yes uh, Hizo ndio places tu mtu anaweza report tu. Hata kwa hospitali yoyote. Yeah. Any hospital mtu yeah. anaingia. Unaingia wanaweza kakusaidia. Watu wasiogope. Wasiogope. Uh. Usiogope pia usiogope ati juu umechapo ama umedungwa visu. Mm. Your health come first. Mm-hmm. And uh, approach anyone. Mm-hmm. Approach mwenye anaweza kakusaidia. Mm-hmm. Na usaidizi iko. Uh. Kuna mama wa vijiji, mm. kuna watu wa nyumba kumi. Uh-huh. Enda uwaeleze. Mm-hmm. To the moment we speak up, unaweza prevent kitu inaweza happen kwa mwingine. Kwa mwingine ama kitu inaweza kukuhapenia mm. later on ambayo ni dangerous na inaweza kuwa ni kifo uh, at the end of the day sasa juju yes wewe unapatikana wapi kama watu wanataka kuku contact directly madem na machali wasaidie wape yeah. counseling unapatikana wapi kwa namba yangu kwanza ya simu ni 0700 mm. mm-hmm. 573 605 mm-hmm. unaweza ni call unaweza ni whatsapp mm-hmm. Pia unaweza nipata pale Facebook naitwa Juliet Waithera. Mm-hmm. IG ni Waithera Juliet. Mm-hmm. Yes, na tunaweza tunaweza bonga, tunaweza niita ni mentorship sessions, mm-hmm. tunaweza niita counseling. Mm-hmm. Pali popote tunaweza saidia, tunaweza saidia. Tunaweza saidia. Yes. So we open for anyone na ku contact any time mwenye na go through anything. Yes. Utasaidia. Au nitasaidia. Nafikiri mafan wetu mnasikia, mmesikia juju. Unfortunately time imetupa kisogo kidogo. Hii conversation haiwezi ishia hapa ndio tunawaambia tuingie kwa mitandao ya kijamii tuendelee kuongea hapo ama una contact juju ama una tu contact sisi directly tunasaidiana tunaendelea kupiga hizi story juju yeah. imekuwa pleasure tunashukuru sana umetutembelea na umeweza ku kuhamasisha watu kuwajulisha vile vitu zinaenda kwa mita yeah. na kuambia solutions ni sisi tu wenyewe bado yeah. na pia mahali wanaweza zitoa yeah. nashukuru sana karibu <laughs> Vile mmesikia Jujuma ali anapatikana tuendelee hizi conversations kwa social media platforms zote iconradio.co.ke hiyo ndio website yetu iconradio ke on all social media platforms ingia pale YouTube subscribe alafu ingia kwa comment section utupatie views zako kuhusu history tumeongelea leo ya GBV na Juju na tutawachia show leo hapo hivyo first hour tunawashukuru sana kutusikiza tupatane tena next week base tukiendelea hizi gumzo zetu za mtaani Icon Radio. Eh. <laughs> hey bro. <laughs> uko tu sawa, uko fit. <laughs> That's the move. That's the move. You already know. Hey, welcome back to the second hour ya Base. Ambapo tuko na msanii hapa hivi atajitambulisha baadaye. Lakini kwanza tupate kwenye social media iconradio.co.ke. Icon Radio KE on all social media platforms ingia pale YouTube subscribe alafu tupatie views zako pale kwa comment section Bro was good na feel your vibe yako sana Aye, that's the move eh? <laughs> this is what I'm all about <laughs> this all what you all about what you see is what you get <laughs> <laughs> Tuko honored yeah. sana kuwa na wewe hapa hivi leo Ah it's been it's a pleasure eh, to be here Tuko honored sana Hapa Icon Radio So when I describe Adi, how do you describe yourself? How I describe myself as mm-hmm. an artist. Mm-hmm. Um basically I've been told by what you see is what you get. Like mm-hmm. I'm loud, um abrasive, I'm bold, you mm-hmm. feel me? Um gonna talk about things most people don't wanna, don't want to talk about. Mm-hmm. That's what my music is about. Mm-hmm. Experimenting genres that most people will shy about, will shy off of, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's, that, that's 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 you. That's me. That's, that's you. That's bold. <laughs> bold different. Uh, yeah, bold and different. And you didn't introduce yourself. <laughs> to <her. laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, uh Kugi is the name Emperor Kugi. Emperor Kugi. That's, that's the title. Mm. That's the title. Emperor Kugi. Emperor Kugi. Why emperor? Why why not emperor? <laughs> why not emperor? Why why can't I feel hey, like Define emperor? an emperor? 
an emperor mm. an emperor is a young boss mm -hmm. an emperor is a, any young boss with his priorities in order mm -hmm. you feel me mm -hmm. who gets his who gets his bag wherever you get your bag and you have your priorities in order mm -hmm. you feel me mm -hmm. you have the drive you have the capability and the drive and uh you know uh, that inner thing that stirs you to just keep pushing and keep winning mm -hmm. no matter what no matter what happens that's an emperor that's an emperor yeah. So this is your kingdom. That this is my king. This is my <laughs> empire now. It's your empire this now. Is my empire now. <laughs> so how do you describe your music? My music, my music is how can I put this? My music mm -hmm. is setting the standard. Mm -hmm. You know, my music is uh, music that sets the bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't really set the bar, but like elevates mm -hmm. elevates the standard of what you know we've come to expect from oh. our local industry feel mm -hmm. me that's what i want to do mm -hmm. with my music mm -hmm. take what we expect like what we have with our local with our local people mm -hmm. and just elevate it and bring it to a whole other New standard level. a whole other level mm -hmm. feel me mm -hmm. yeah that's my that's my that's my music basically you know so, keep up with me, <laughs> <Feel> me. <laughs> keep up with me so 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 nasema you don't stick to one genre I don't stick to one genre. Mm -hmm. Hip hop is not my main genre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like experimenting. I like to experiment. Uh -huh. I'll do hip hop one time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do uh, maybe a mumba tone or a, or a reggaeton something some mm -hmm. other time. I'm gonna do EDM another time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do heck. Why not? I I, I can do metal. <laughs> I can do metal, bro. Like uh -huh. like I, I'm not defined like in one in box. in, in one box. Me? Yeah. Uh -huh. And that, uh, na 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 that sina take a lot no. mentally creativity ama ama since we are creative I was, work around I, anything. I, was, I was born this way mm -hmm. i was born this way mm -hmm. okay. and it also now ties on to you know my history mm -hmm. my history in music mm -hmm. um cuz you know um before uh before i started rapping mm -hmm. okay i started as a rapper mm -hmm. as a kid mm -hmm. and uh you know as nini as uh, as time, the time, time, as the time, time goes, goes by you mm -hmm. feel me as the time goes by mm -hmm. um i've gotten now that chance and that privilege mm -hmm. to experiment to experience um other genres of music mm -hmm. you know not just you know not to have that tunnel vision of you know it's hip hop and it's hip hop and mm -hmm. just that you feel me mm -hmm. yeah i think that it's too you know it's too constant ubefungi wa mahali moja sana sana you feel uh -huh. me yeah so i do everything mm -hmm. yeah so kiam ka subui leo you feel like leo nataka ku sing you can sing ah uh, uh, i'm a sing mm. i'm a sing <laughs> i wake up and and my creative juices are telling me hey it's time to sing it's time uh -huh. to be melodic i will be melodic uh. yeah so nini liku inspire ili ku inspire to go into music mm. now as a youngin now that's me mm -hmm. uh, as a youngin that's class that's a class eight me mm -hmm. um what inspired me is that um a lot of people around me um actually gave me that kind of push that inspiration mm -hmm. because even before i i you know i knew like i wanted to do music mm -hmm. my whole look my whole persona was now just defined around uh music and then uh, and and the celebrities and the people that i admired mm -hmm. um along uh, those uh, those days those times that mm -hmm. era and as that persona as my persona was you know just changing and shifting mm -hmm. as becoming you know more confident in myself in my mm -hmm. own body in my own ability mm -hmm. now people uh, now everyone's like hey yo you look like you can do music you look like you can do music mm -hmm. then uh, yeah just just this one night i remember this vividly one night mm -hmm. um it was a public thing mm -hmm. um and i did I did a cover of a song by Nate. Keep in mind I'm in class 8. I did, <laughs> I did um, a cover of a song by Nameless uh -huh. and just seeing how people vibed with it and everyone was behind me the reactions. going off just mm -hmm. going crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I I think I just knew okay this this is something I want to do. So you, you discovered ulikuwa na talent kutoka kutoka kwa mdogo. Yeah, kutoka kwa mdogo. So from that point on ukiwa class 8 vile watu wali react ndio ukani nini i knew that was i knew music was for me mm. yeah so you decided to focus on music i decided to focus on music but you're still studying 
Oh, sure, of course, yeah. So after after shule ndio ka decide hiki tunaweza ifanya professionally. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, after 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 my primary, mm. my high school years mm-hmm. were now the formative, you know, just now getting to develop that skill, you feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. To develop it and once that was done i said okay you know what i'm not going to drop this it's mm-hmm. not going to be a high school thing mm-hmm. i love music mm-hmm. and this is what i'm going to do mm. yeah so what drives you what drives me the mm. drive you know <laughs> the nina kupa motisha ni unamkaga morning the motivation mm-hmm. um you know just music itself is my motivation mm-hmm. at this point mm-hmm. music itself you know to just have good music around me mm-hmm. and you know to be able to go like say to the radio something mm-hmm. and just listen to and just and, and just get so many so many talent so much talent just bumping on and and going off mm. that enough is motivation for me because i love music in itself mm. i love music and you know the way i see myself or mm-hmm. i see myself in the years to come mm-hmm. it just now gives me that drive that motivation i'll just go pick up a pen write something down mm-hmm. produce because mm-hmm. i self produce mm-hmm. or do something for myself mm-hmm. go and record mm-hmm. yeah that's what gets me that's what gets me up what there. drives you i love i love the fact in the back of your mind that your fans e- you give exactly. you're, you're giving them something Exactly. Yeah. Unawapea una hiyo peace of mind hiyo unajua after hassle zao nini wanataka kutulia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that peace of mind uh-huh. like if, if if I can be that safe space. Okay, not really safe. Can I can I say yes. safe space? Okay, so I, I safe, safe space. space uh, yeah. Mm. If I can be that space where you know at the end of the day, you know, uh, mm. you as my fan, you can just go at the end of your hard day just chill in bed, just put on my song and then mm. just relax so go hype or go crazy mm-hmm. huh? it's a friday night you're preparing put my song on get the, <laughs> get get yourself in a mood before you step out you feel me? <laughs> yeah so you don't ina ku drive una 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 ji put kwa mind kwa mind ya ya, ya fan wako ni nini anataka exactly nini anataka alafu unampati ile ile yenye anataka yeah na hiyo si ni noma sana my friend kwa sababu kwa world eh, kuna different personalities mm-hmm. watu tofauti kuna madem kuna machali of course so personalities sasa ni different kuna mtu anapenda hii kuna mtu unajiekaga kwa hiyo situation ya mind ya kila mtu i i get i get that everybody is different mm-hmm. everybody like everybody loves different things mm-hmm. and that's why i'm not confer- i'm not confined, know, confined you know, in, in one in, box in one box in one genre mm-hmm. like i told you you feel me mm-hmm. like I'm not confined in that one you know only mdua hip hop mdua hip hop and that's that because uh-uh. I get people are different mm-hmm. and another thing is that now if I'm confined in that one box mm-hmm. you know I become like what most uh, if I may be so bold mm-hmm. what most other uh, most music I'm hearing on the uh, you know on, uh, on locally, radio or, or locally, is locally. and that's one of my biggest fears like mm-hmm. becoming stale you feel me uh, kweli kabisa kweli hiyo umekataa kwa hivyo umesema wewe umejitolea na umegive utagive craft yako ku change hii industry yetu ya Kenya yeah, exactly to set a whole new bar mm. to set a whole new bar for mm. the country to set a whole new bar for Kenya quality in terms yeah, of production like production quality mm, the message bars, you'll be giving out message, song mm-hmm. itself cuz mm-hmm. yeah cuz you ask yourself the question why is why is things like I'm a piano in Niger trending trending in Kenya trending in Kenya and mm-hmm. then yeah and yet our own is just so super na wewe uko uko hapo uko hapo and I am here so no <laughs> 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 So you need part ya you need part ya motivation yako unataka unataka yeah. space by the time you're done with it yeah. watu wakiangalia 20 what years from now what is it now they say like say uh, let me say a big inspiration earlier on like i said was nameless mm-hmm. yeah i think for me that's what he did he mm-hmm. set the current bar of me of kenyan music as mm-hmm. we know it mm-hmm. so i want to do that mm-hmm. i want to do the same thing mm-hmm. just now take it a notch a mountain a mountain high not a um, notch high. Not, not a notch a mountain high. you're standing on the shoulders of giants I'm kama nameless on the no nini of giants, that's where, that's so lazima unaona mbali yep that's the move kugi yeah. wacha tuteka break mm-hmm. tuingie madukani kidogo mm-hmm. tukirudi sasa mm-hmm. 
Nataka sasa unipe views zako za za hii na story. Get ready, get ready. Ni get ready. Mafano wetu na take break kidogo tunaingia tupige maji kidogo tuchangamke tukirudi. Tuko na kugi hapa hivi. Atuchangamshe, atupatie mambo yake. Tusikie industry inafanyaje na views zake ya industry ya Kenya. Icon Radio. Kugi kwenye beza. <laughs> Bra. <laughs> Leo beza imewaka moto hapa hivi mzee. <laughs> Kugi yako hapa hivi na sisi beza. Icon Radio utapata vibe kama hii peke yake hapa. Hakuna kwingine wapata vibe kama hii. Icon Radio KE on all social media platforms. Ingia pale YouTube subscribe tupatie views zako. Conversation pia unaweza endelea hapo hivyo na Kugi akuambia mambo yake zaidi. Ndugu <laughs> Kenya okay. music industry. <laughs> uh, okay. Eh? Uh-huh. Okay. Now. Mm. Let me throw you back. Uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if uh, you got this news. Mm-hmm. Um at the time it was happening. Just uh, just recently, I think mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. One um one artist. Mm-hmm. Not really an artist, one mm-hmm. comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, comedian by the name of Eric Mondi. Mm-hmm. I don't like to name drop, but I'll name drop this mm-hmm. time. Yeah, comedian by the name of Eric Mondi mm-hmm. uh, made a sort of a statement uh-huh. of the current state of the country mm-hmm. of the of the country's entertainment, entertainment industry, industry as a whole. Mm-hmm. And I read through that and I 100% agree because mm-hmm. the industry if you ask me at this point is repetitive is repetitive mm-hmm. and stale and more of just beating dead horses like mm-hmm. Gengeton feel me mm-hmm. Gengeton at this point is a dead horse that we should just leave buried mm-hmm. and move on to something new mm-hmm. try on something new and innovate mm-hmm. as as creators as, as artists creators. like innovate uh-huh. stop being safe uh-huh. cuz that's i i think that's i think that's a major problem mm-hmm. uh, these people whether be you know predictable and bland and boring because that's safe that's what they know that's mm-hmm. what they know uh, they're gonna they're gonna put out a song about whatever they sing about say like alcohol for example and mm-hmm. they know okay fine this is gonna do numbers because these people love alcohol mm-hmm. but it's safe that's why i mean that's why uh, different genres like ama piano now have taken the country by storm people are going to people are going on uh, on road trips to have ama piano festivals not in kenya first, not genga to festival mm. not genga festival mm-hmm. you, you dig mm-hmm. not ka, kapuka ozili zopendo festivals ama piano yeah, ama south piano. african music south, south african music uh, or talking Niger of music yeah. talking of statements uh, kuna jamaa mr nomdrop nom, <laughs> nom <drop. laughs> ali issue uh, statement last week eh uh, akasema since 2007 mm. up to around 2017 2018 mm. uh, there has been a problem in the Kenyan music industry mm-hmm. uh, kumekuwa na cartels na kuna wase wanachukua do sasa kama mimi nachukua chapa mm. naenda nalipa all media houses wasicheze muziki yako jiwe ni competitor wangu alafu nachukua the same same hizo music hizo 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 radio stations na tv stations na walipa wacheze muziki yangu hata kama ni mbaya aje na hakikisha mimi napata napata time so hiyo ndio kitu hiyo ndio kitu walikuwa nasema hiyo ndio kitu imefanya industry yetu ikaanguka somehow that doesn't even surprise me mm-hmm. you dig so that doesn't even surprise me like given you know the state of uh, even the country as a whole even on the entertainment cartels mm-hmm. cartels how many cartels do we have <laughs> every day on the morning people uh-huh. Yeah, how, many, how many cartels headlines do we read or oh, mm. cartel did this or oh, scandal this or oh, this scandal pale i mean it's 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 a disease it's mm. a disease not only in our entertainment industry but in mm. our country as mm. a whole cuz mm-hmm. i don't get why instead of you know having tons of you know um lots of talent lots of people who are willing to innovate like with the recent like drill wave mm-hmm. uh, drill music mm-hmm or if that's going on that i actually like very much vibe with mm-hmm. because me, for me that's you know taking such a you know such a strong sound and going with it and innovating it in a kenyan kind of way mm-hmm. 
and adding that Kenyan flavor to it, and that I agree with. But mm-hmm. you don't hear a lot of that, do mm-hmm. you? No. You don't hear a lot of that because, mm-hmm. like you've said, all that is just be, uh, has just been pushed down by people who are mm-hmm. too lazy to, to innovate. innovate. Uh-huh. I say, okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll just guarantee myself. Myself. <laughs> uh, just guarantee myself, please. Uh-huh. If I pay these, if I pay these people around, uh, maybe to, let's let's say I drop a hundred racks on your kisawa, make sure my thing just plays all through the month. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not right. It's mm-hmm. not fair to, it's not fair to people who actually innovate and actually mm-hmm. create. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So you, you, you and you met work a situation. You to find other countries like Niger muziki yao inakuja kuchezwa hapa kweli inakuja kuchezwa hapa and they actually do much better mm. i mean search through my phone right mm-hmm. now or his phone mm-hmm. or anybody's you know um phone stock spotify or whatever mm-hmm. then count how many kenyan songs there are mm-hmm. count how many kenyan songs there are mm-hmm. if it's not from saudi solo nikita kare mm-hmm. uh, the there are very few or, or the occasional calligraph mm. from, mm-hmm. uh, your take on gengeton <laughs> dead horse dead horse that needs to be it was a thing it uh-huh. was a thing back back when uh, back when it first dropped mm-hmm. um it took everybody by storm but now it is a horse that needs to be buried mm-hmm. it needs to be buried and just left to, left to die because mm-hmm. now it's evolved into now it's a perfect example of what's wrong with the industry because mm-hmm. now this 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 vibe this gangeton uh whole genre mm-hmm. it started off strong mm-hmm. it started off strong it had it had a very strong party vibe mm-hmm. that i won't deny mm-hmm. but over time it became the safe thing to do mm-hmm. uh what's the safe uh, like, uh, what's the safe uh, what's the safest hit to me what's the quickest way to make a hit gangeton gangeton me mm-hmm. what's the quickest way to reach the gangeton mm-hmm. me so there's no uh, it became like uh the people didn't innovate after that After they the they first, didn't improve after, on it exactly the, mm-hmm. after the first gangeton uh track i don't remember what it was mm-hmm. the first gangeton wave it hit our airwaves mm-hmm. it hit our youtubes our socials mm-hmm. everyone ran with it mm-hmm. and it became like progressing now what's wrong with you know the industry, the industry the itself because now it became now a safe thing it, it's, it's it's a sure like a staple hit maker thing okay so mm-hmm. like oh, you wanna make a hit do a gangeton mm-hmm. do a gangeton track mm-hmm. go to bed <laughs> But you see uh, uh, we have to give it to them at least while they reclaim airwaves back cuz airwaves zetu liko kutoka asubuhi unasikia bongo na Niger music Yeah 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 I I, that, I agree that's why I uh-huh. said like if uh, when 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 it when it was there like it was powerful that mm-hmm. I would not deny mm-hmm. like its its influence was very mm-hmm. it was very much welcome mm-hmm. it was very much you know um powerful in that way now you know there's no there's no there's not much now you know took back from bongo mm-hmm. from niger from all i took back for a while mm-hmm. for a while you think uh-huh. because right now like r- right now is uh, yeah, i i should going to hear like uh, whatever like a diamond track over 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 any different kind of radio mm-hmm. or any niger whatever any niger song imekuwa ngumu now now i'm a piano mm-hmm. you feel me Yeah so it took it took it back for a while but now as it became stale i think mm-hmm. like it's gone it's gone back to it started it's starting it was starting now to depend again on you know independent no international uh, people international talent in the mm-hmm. Somali ona kwa sania now ni they didn't improve on it they didn't improve on it they didn't innovate on it I, it just became a stale easy hit maker uh, yeah Hapo ndio unakosania nao. Make a hit in five minutes. Tu yake inje haraka haraka. Eh. Sasa wewe kama msanii, what challenges have you gone through since you started this craft professionally? <sighs> okay, professionally, uh, there's there's lots of bad business out there. Mm-hmm. There's lots of bad business out mm-hmm. there. Um earlier on you know you do you do music you do music in good faith mm-hmm. you, do, you do music in good faith and sometimes you take an L sometimes you take an L you get finessed mm-hmm. sometimes that L is big yeah yeah but um all in all you know just after each and every loss you just make the, you know you just get wiser mm-hmm. after everything you feel me mm-hmm. um that that was 
let me say my biggest um, drawback biggest hard work as an upcoming artist mm-hmm. over the years because I started I started with hip hop mm-hmm. way back and I think after high school um, is when now I started now experimenting and now I, I changed genres actually I became a DJ mm-hmm. an electronic dance music DJ uh-huh. for me in the name of adding you know that differentness to 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 your to your image to to not only to my image not mm-hmm. only to my image and to my music but but to you know what i'm putting out to to, the, to your I'm fans out to my fans and to enter the world mm-hmm. yeah you know to be the next innovation mm-hmm. you know, the next innovation mm-hmm. um electronic dance music i was i was in edm i was in edm the mm-hmm. djing thing for quite a while mm-hmm. Yeah, before I went back to hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was in that for a long so, time. So, so when you're talking of uh, else, yeah, uh, the major challenges were getting airplay for your music. Yeah, getting DJs in clubs to, to yeah, play you your know, music. Getting, you know, getting, you know, getting everybody on board. Mm. Uh, getting people on board. Mm. Um, you know, with something you know as bold and, ab- and as abrasive as mm-hmm. you know my music is. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting you know, people who can stand behind it mm-hmm. was hard because like I said everyone just wanted to be safe so uh, what do you think kiangalia hatujipendi kama kenyans we don't we don't appreciate our own like you umeenda studio ume take time yako ume hiyo mm. creative process inakuwa gani ni tiring na ni refu ume put out kazi yako yeah. una feel bona watu watu hatuji appreciate as kenyans Kenyans don't appreciate Kenyan talent because Kenyans as a Kenyan fan mm-hmm. if I speak on the pers- in the persona of a Kenyan fan mm-hmm. I'm not appreciating Kenyan talent because I've come to know what to expect. Oh, I've uh-huh. come to know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Tell me I've come to know I'll see I'll see something like a Kenyan playlist up I've come to expect okay that's as full of Kenyan as mm-hmm. full of something else uh, something or rather and if I'm looking for something different mm-hmm. if i'm looking for something different that i that i'm sure i that i know or i'm sure that you know i don't think this is being offered in my country mm-hmm. where am i going to look internationally internationally yeah so we wanna feel tunaweza fanya nini sisi mimi na wewe sasa hivi letu kwa kubadilisha kubadilisha this process najua ni ngumu but what can we do to change what can we, what can we do to change the image or the expectations of the, expectations the average of the average Kenyan fan to start to appreciate our own of the average Kenyan fan to appreciate Kenyan music innovate bring what is what the fan is looking for out there mm-hmm. make that bring that <laughs> bring that the fans looking for blue slower and be out there bring that, bring that to them mm. that's why that's why uh that's why um this story Nikita Kering is so big right now. Mm, kweli. Yeah, she's, kweli stand, she, she's standing on a mountain right now because she brought that. What what my fans want to What 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 fans were looking for? What mm. what fans were looking for in their Spotify's or their YouTube's mm. and looking for that slow vibe and say okay so I, I can't get this here locally. Mm. I don't know where I get this here locally. Mm. She brought that to them. To that's them. why she's standing on a mountain right now, you feel me? If you mm, so, ask me. So Kugi. Yeah. Uh, your work umefanya kazi gani alafu tuna expect nini kutoka kwako going forward in future <laughs> my work my mm. work my work mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. i've made three notable three notable um, drops mm-hmm. under the moniker of emperor mm-hmm. kugi emperor kugi yeah because you know back then i didn't go by yeah but back then i didn't go as emperor i just went by simply kugi mm-hmm. yeah of which uh, back then i did uh, my whole um, original mixes in mm-hmm. electronic music a whole catalog mm-hmm. um that you can find on my soundcloud mm-hmm. a whole catalog of electronic music mm-hmm. and under the moniker of emperor kugi mm-hmm. I have done tracks like um in my memory like three notable tracks that I'm proud of. Mm-hmm. Our list was Bricks. Mm-hmm. My favorite is called Fendi. Mm-hmm. My most recent is called Winning Effect. Mm-hmm. Winning Effect as more of a motivation song for the streets. For the streets. And uh-huh. 
and i'm dropping something this coming month this december, this december. for the summer let's mm. let's let's just pretend the rain is in there <laughs> uh, summer rain <laughs> yeah. let's just pretend the rain is in there i'm <laughs> dropping something for the summer uh, this december we will hear it first here hapa kwa base hapa kwa base tunakukaribisha ukamu we drop here hapa <laughs> right here right here so hiyo ni short term future long term future na expect nini kutoka kwa kugi uh, greatness 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 mm. expect everything that i've talked about to be fulfilled to be to have come through mm-hmm. na yeah. advice gani tukimalizia you can give to upcoming artists because you've walked the walk umeona challenges unajua wapi kukanyaga na wapi kulenga kupitia a lot of people mm-hmm. you upcoming artist mm-hmm. wherever you are a lot of people are going to tell you to play it safe mm-hmm. don't <laughs> a lot of people are going to tell you play it safe mm-hmm. do do this this genre say mm-hmm. this in your song mm-hmm. it's going to be an easy hit don't don't mm-hmm. be just another gray face in an in a lake in an ocean of gray faces mm-hmm. that is our kenyan entertainment mm-hmm. industry stand out be yourself be yourself mm-hmm. talk what you want to talk mm-hmm. you want to if 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 the emo thing is your thing go for go for whatever you mm-hmm. want okay don't let anyone try to downplay you mm-hmm. don't let anyone try to downplay your dream mm-hmm. don't let anyone try to downplay your work mm-hmm. yeah safi kabisa sasa kugi uh unapatikana wapi social media handles uh... my social media handles mm-hmm. uh my ig is at his majesty kogi mm-hmm. at his majesty kogi mm-hmm. you'll find me at emperor kogi on twitter mm-hmm. emperor kogi on youtube mm-hmm. and um emperor kogi on facebook ah safi kabisa yeah. Mafanu wetu I hope mmesikia me, mmezipata zote fit kabisa hii conversation lazima tushinde tukiendelea kwanza ya industry kwa sababu kugia kuna ideas fiti sana za kubadilisha hii industry na tumpatie chance tuache ku write off our own tunakubali watu wengine tofauti na tunamalizia leo hapo kugi the conversation na joyezi isha tunaweza ongea hapa hivi 24 hours <laughs> Man, true, true. i can talk about this all day the whole day yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tuendelee conversation kwa social media platforms iconradio.co.ke iconradio ke on all social media platforms tuendelee conversation hapo hivyo pia mmesikia mali mnapata kugi fuateni hapo hivyo mpatieni support mziki zake mpatieni support tafadhali kugi unatupa ka outro ama outro tu moja tu fupi tu tukifunga base tukifunga base wiki na tukifunga pia mwezi wa novemba ai ai saw saw can't you man she let me do it in the back seat 24 carats some of art piece I got the juice, I got the sauce. I don't see your boyfriend coming close. Excuse my Spanish. So I so bro so that means I'm amazing. Can go bro that shot on target. I want to stack my money still I stack it in the garbage. Shorty on the phone what she want is more. Mind <laughs> my money I queue like a chick. Till I never check the price cuz I'm a young boss making boss moves. Make your dreams true young girl. Eh, kugi 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 tume appreciate sana tume appreciate sana <laughs> presence yako hapa hivi na wisdom yako kwa show kutembelea base tunashukuru sana thank you thank you for having me it's been a real privilege it's mm-hmm. been a real pleasure i've had a lot of fun mm-hmm. and uh, expect seeing you again expect seeing you. unakaribishwa anytime unakaribishwa sure mafan tunafungia base leo hapa hivi na imekuwa wiki ya wiki ya GBV 16 days of activism hata tulisahau kuuliza kugi opinion yake lakini atatupatia kwa mziki moja soon tunashukuru sana na tuendelee ku, ku support our own Kenyan artists kuendelea ku support our own see you next month mwezi mpya december tuendelee kupigeza story base icon radio